extinctions and radiations what is this these two terms we have already discussed about it but uh, let us bring a little bit more clarity to it extinction is the death of the last surviving individual of a species worldwide not local so of course there is another term called local extinction locally gone extinct but it is there in some other uh, you know uh, remote area then it's not really global extinction or the normal extinction the term extinction is the whole over the world right so if only one species is surviving uh, for example white rhino it came in news a few years back right in, in a zoo under captivity of course in africa right so the last individual of that uh, white rhino dies then you can call it as complete extinction it's 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 the the extinction event right so most of the extinction on the planet earth has been natural so there is a this is another uh, misconception that extinction is because of the human activity that is incorrect you know so extinction is natural it's like human uh, nobody is uh, uh, beyond uh, death right <laughs> so birth and death is very common it's you know it's uh, there is no escape from death everybody will be eventually will be, will all be dying isn't it so like that that is for the individual and also for the species species form and species die so uh, 99 percentage more than 99 99.9 no? .9 percentage of all the extinction on planet earth had been natural so that happens but from 1600s onwards there had been tremendous increase in extinctions caused by the human interference the anthropogenic factors contributed uh, the so-called hippo you know that the sixth major extinction event is ongoing that is what uh, the biologists uh, the consensus among the scientists are you know so that is what the extinction now coming to mass extinction is planet-wide extinction event with a lot of death you know big dying process right triggered by global events like climate change again now it's ongoing though we haven't crossed a tipping point yet you know so major disaster is on the way or asteroid impact you know uh, yes, so the like the, the the asteroid that impacted uh, almost uh, 66 million years back in uh, in Mexico, that the so-called uh, KT extinction event, right? Cretaceous tertiary or Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event that wiped out all dinosaurs from planet Earth. So mass extinctions are population bottleneck situations. So that at that time, so individuals, you know, completely. Uh, 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 dramatically reduces the number reduces dramatically only few individuals are remaining just by the matter of chance so that is why during those time genetic drift overtakes the natural selection you know so genetic drift during both next shape the subsequent generation substantially that is why the extinctions are remarkable and uh, you might know that like uh, in the case of kt extinction event till then uh, you know the mammals are nothing very very small uh, you know only a very few species were there but just after the kt extinction event all the dinosaurs were gone and mammals started dramatically started increasing in diversity so that dramatic diversification is what you call it as radiation that happens usually after major extinction event you know so these are the major extinction event you can see that end ordovician and Devonian and Permian and Triassic and, and Cretaceous, the KT extinction event, right? So you can see that this uh, increasing population has suddenly decreased and then started increasing yet again, right? So these extinction events are also happening regularly and now another major extinction event might be in few million years, right? So yes, geology is spoken in millions of years time, isn't it? So yes, yeah, so uh, yeah, the, the, the idea is that after every extinction event, there is a radiation is happening. Even though the population bottleneck situation, but suddenly there is a radiation is happening, you know. So, so this is exactly what you call it as uh, saltation, you know, after the stasis. So, usually during this time, it is stasis, but immediately after that is saltation is happening. So, this, this moment is not a saltation, right? So how about here, the Cambrian? So one of the major radiation has been happened at the Cambrian, Cambrian explosion. So it is not shown here, but actually if you zoom at this location around this area, then you will see that there had been uh, a few, uh, at least two 
uh, you know, the, the snowball earth. So this is known as uh, uh, Cryogenian Sturtan and Marinoan, right? So these two are the major snowball events during Proterozoic uh, period, right? So approximately 700 to 650 million years back. So after that, so snowball means the entire planet Earth became, uh, you know, uh, glaciated. So it became complete glaciers, right? So again, it's contested, right? So after that, so now at least that we now know that this Cambrian explosion, which is a radiation, is because of this, uh, you know, the, the snowball earth, in which the population has completely uh, reduced to a few individuals. That is basically the population bottleneck situation, uh, especially the Idea Karan, you know, just before the the Cambrian time in the Proterozoic, it's called Ediacara. So Ediacara also had got lots of diversity. And then suddenly, because of the snowball earth, uh, it reduced. And that is the reason why we have the Cambrian explosion, you know. So extinctions usually lead to radiations. That is a basic uh, trend in, if you look in the paleontology, you know. So the process in which many new species evolve in a short period of the time to fill available niches, you know, environmental niches is known as adaptive radiation. You know the term adaptive radiation. Sudden, suddenly multiple lineages are coming up, right? One good example is Cambrian explosion around 541 million years back. So that lasted the entire event, lasted for around 13 to 25 million years and resulted in the diver, you know, divergence of most of the modern metazoan phyla. Metazoan means animal, you know. Another example is explosion of mammalian lineage just after the KT extinction event around 66 million years back, you know. So adaptive radiation seen in fossil record is the saltation in the punctuated equilibrium. I've already told you that. So saltation, sudden jump, that is exactly what you call it as adaptive radiation, you know. So the Cambrian explosion is something like this. You know, so early pre-Cambrian, very, very less, late Cambrian and at the Ediacara, very, very less other. Then suddenly, uh, during the early Cambrian, you see that multiple things have been uh, formed. All those Nidaria, arthropod, worms, mollusk and chordate, echinoderm, right? Pro all these things have emanated, right? All these new lineages, while... Uh, these lineages were pre-existing, prokaryote and eukaryote and uh, hemichordata, right? But this metazoan lineage, the ancestor, MRCA, most recent common ancestor, it suddenly split into a uh, hemichordata, echinoderm, all those, uh, you know, spawns and everything, porifera, right? Everything, uh, almost every, uh, you know, animal phyla resulted in comparatively short period of time during the Cambria. Uh, Cambrian time, you know, early Cambrian. So that is called radiation. So radiations are, uh, you know, what you call it as saltations in um, punctuated equilibria model. And yes, of course, extinction leads to the radiation. That is yet another key concept in evolutionary biology. 